Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to show you a couple interesting new additions to my 12-inch G.I. Joe collection. And these are a couple foreign soldiers. And um, the interesting thing about these is I was able to obtain these uniform sets from Cotswold Collectibles. And uh, to me, they are really spectacular and very reminiscent of... Um, kind of the, I guess, the action man side of um, this kind of 12-inch uh, collection. Uh, this this one in particular, the French Foreign Legion figure, is very much a repro of an action man set. And then the German Stormtrooper that you see here is, um, I guess, um, it's kind of reminiscent of... A little bit of the action man stuff but also um, some of the derivative stuff that was done I think in uh, either Europe or South America of the the original GI Joe set um, it's not exactly like um, the original GI Joe German stormtrooper there's some different differences in terms of um, you know it's it's not as complete as it was in the original form but it's really fantastic, and we'll get into that a little bit later, but I wanted to uh, show you these and really talk about them in depth uh, in terms of like really expanding up upon my foreign soldier collection, and um, to me, it's very exciting to actually uh, expand this range uh, beyond just, um, you know, what was available in the Timeless Collection, which was the Australian Jungle Fighter and and there was there wasn't really too much else uh in terms of like what they did with the foreign soldiers so so this french foreign legion figure uh, it doesn't include the the lighter colored um um coat uh which was sort of the more rare version of the action man line but actually this version looks uh a little bit better actually um so i kind of i don't mind it and um the only things that I added to this, so it comes as a uniform set, so you don't get the figure with it. Um, so I was able to pick up the the uh, uh, extra headset uh, through Cotswold Collectibles. This is the their version of the foreign head, um, so I ordered that separately. And then uh, I also added an extra pair of pants underneath here. Uh, the fabric on this... Um, the white pants is actually very thin. So if you just put that on there without anything underneath it, it's actually going to look a little awkward. So I added an extra pair of tan pants underneath um, the white pants, just so it actually fills it out a little bit better. So, um, but that's pretty much it in terms of like what I added to this. I also added a, you know, a GI Joe dog, dog tag as a complete set. It's actually pretty, uh, pretty fulfilling. You know, it doesn't really require too much in terms of additions. The trickiest part of actually assembling this is actually putting it on this belt because uh, the attachment point where this hooks into this, this little tab, is very finicky, especially when you're trying to put it over top of this sash. Uh, it's it's very very tight, so. Um, just, just be patient with it. Cause, um, you know, you, you will eventually get it, you know, as you can see it, it does fit together very nicely, but like, uh, you're going to struggle with it essentially trying to assemble this. But in terms of, uh, all the extra details, you get this, uh, fantastic rifle, you get this canteen, um, the belt. There's also this, uh, bayonet here, um, it should be noted that the bayonet does not fit into the rifle the, probably the way it should. Um, so don't try and actually, you know, struggle with it and be like, hey, why doesn't this fit in here? It basically does not. Uh, you know, there's no way to actually fit that in there uh, the way the vintage version does. And uh, I, from what I understand, actually, the, the vintage version of the bayonet um, is often broken. So um, you don't want to make the mistake of actually, you know, breaking the, the reproduction version as well. So, but overall, very happy with this. And uh, I do like the, the Cotswold uh, version of the head sculpt as well. 
there's uh, some paint details that I might actually want to modify because I, when you compare it with the uh, the version that comes with the Australian Jungle Fighter, I I like that a little bit better. But it should be noted that the hat that actually comes with this actually fits better on this particular head sculpt than uh, most others that I actually tried. I tried like the regular Timeless Collection uh, reproduction GI Joe head. And it fits very loosely on that. And it also fits very loosely on the 40th anniversary GI Joe head. So um, I would recommend probably trying to use this particular head sculpt because it, it fits uh, snugly on it and it actually stays on there without like flopping around. So um, yeah, just in terms of uh, the kind of head you want to actually use with this figure, uh, that's what I recommend. Um, now, in terms of this uh, German Stormtrooper, um, so I, I used the the Australian Jungle Fighter figure uh, for this particular figure. And um, in terms of the gear and everything, I think it looks uh, really fantastic. The only things I added to this set, uh, I had a little bit of extra foam inside of the helmet so it would sit on the figure's head a little bit better. And I also added a shirt underneath here. Uh, when I initially put the top of the uniform on the figure he looked a little you know a lot of his bare chest was actually still showing so um so this is a basically a temporary solution to this i actually think i might uh try and see if i can get like a gray or green scarf to actually add underneath there uh to uh, complete this uniform set but for the most part it's pretty complete um uh, i don't think you really need to add too much to it um it comes with this uh, web gear, it comes with the stick grenades, and also uh, a Luger. Uh, I might actually see if I can uh, get like a holster or something for the Luger. This doesn't actually come with this. And I also added this uh, G.I. Joe dog tag. Uh, but for the most part, it's a pretty complete set. And uh, it comes with this really fantastic rifle. comes with the jack boots and also a really fantastic uniform. And I could show you side by side in terms of the comparison with uh, my other German that I actually have. This is the German Sentry that I have that came with the uh, Escape from Coldit set. So uh, the uniform on this one is a little bit nicer. And uh, just in terms of the overall details of it, it's definitely a, a more sophisticated kind of uniform, including the, the this furry backpack. So, uh, yeah, I've shown this figure before, but like, um, you know, it's always great to have like another adversary for GI Joe. So, uh, getting an extra, um, German soldier, you know, I think it's really fantastic. And the other cool thing about this set is actually comes with a box. So this was uh, released through Captain Cosmos. So uh, it comes with this, uh, display box, uh, with a window and everything like that. So, that's a very nice addition, and um, this is all printed in uh, French. So this is done through uh, Captain Cosmos, and um, so uh, um, they provide this little catalog. It includes the logos of Cotswold Collectibles and also Hobby Crash, which are the distributors of this Captain Cosmos line. And um, the catalog is actually uh, very cool in terms of like showing off uh, the various products uh, that are available in this line including, um, you know, this uh, version of uh, Baron Ironblood, which is kind of cool. And also uh, reproductions of uh, various sets. And uh, most of them are representative of European sets. Um, here you can see this German Stormtrooper that I just showed you. So they show that one. There's also British SIS. And uh, also uh, many other foreign soldiers. The one I'm actually most interested in, which I haven't seen yet, is this uh, Russian soldier. So I'm hoping Cotswold will actually get this at some point because I would love to actually add this one to my collection. But we'll see what happens. Uh, so far, their selection of um, these particular sets has been pretty limited. Um, so, you know, when you see them come up for, for sale on Cotswold's site, I'd recommend picking them up um, just because they don't really seem to stick around very long. And I'm almost positive this one is no longer available uh, currently. The French Foreign Legion set, because it's a Cotswold uh, release, uh, is still available uh, as of the recording of this particular video. 
So I would highly recommend picking this up. Uh, this is one is available for under fifty dollars, and you know, I I I think it's just spectacular. You know, it really represents a full on repro of you know that original Action Man set. And if you're into collecting foreign soldiers, uh, this is definitely one you want to add to your collection. That's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more reviews of G.I. Joe action figures in the future, think about subscribing to my channel because I will be covering a lot more of this stuff in future videos. Until next time, I hope you're having a great day and thanks for watching.